if you've lost someone in recent weeks, whether to COVID-19 or not, no doubt the pandemic has changed the way that people are grieving. Now, one Toronto-based peer-to-peer support group says they've seen an increase in requests for grief support, and they're now working on special programming for those who have experienced loss during the coronavirus pandemic. Grief is grief, and that's why we don't try and compare one grief to another. However, right now, it is more complicated. Losing a loved one is never easy, but dealing with loss in the middle of a pandemic can compound those feelings of sadness, anger, and grief. Those who have lost someone during COVID, uh, or during the social isolation, I, I should say, often haven't been able to be with their loved one when they took their last breath. And that can really bring up a lot of um, unresolved feelings to know that you couldn't be there. And that's something that only someone who has been through something like that can, can really relate to. Of course, finding someone who's experienced loss during a pandemic is almost impossible in this unprecedented time. But the Breed Families of Ontario says while it is a new and unique circumstance, it's not totally unrelatable. And they're working on programming and workshops geared specifically to those who've lost family to COVID-19. We're bringing together uh, facilitators who have experienced a sudden loss. There's no one who's lost someone to COVID before because this is unprecedented. But um, to, to have a facilitator who's been through a sudden loss can help a little bit. The mostly volunteer-run group that offers peer-to-peer -peer support says their Toronto chapter has seen about a 20% spike in demand in recent weeks. They've moved their meetings and workshops online and say all are welcome because whether a death was coronavirus related or not, anyone mourning right now has one thing in common. We are socially isolated. So what you see normally in every society is that after a life-changing loss, the community comes together. So people have social supports around them and there are different mourning rituals. And because of COVID, people have been denied that opportunity. Meredith Cochran says even those who've lost a loved one years ago may see those feelings of grief resurface during isolation. That's why she says it's important to reach out and also to find new rituals to help fill the void. In the past, if it used to be to go to the cemetery in order to honor your loved one and to feel close to them, you might want to set up a ritual um, in a corner of your house where you write in a journal, for example. Now, anyone who reaches out to bereaved families of Ontario will, will be put in touch with a social worker who does intake, and they help determine if more clinical support is needed and can help uh, facilitate those resources. Now, the group uh, puts on lots of virtual events and workshops outside of their peer-to-peer -peer support groups and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Uh, they also have a number of chapters across Ontario. You can find more information on our website, citynews.ca slash extras.